Welcome back everyone, it's time for me to have another crack at the Battle of Ilerda. The last one was a long one, the battle is uh, 40 minutes long I think, 40 or 45 minutes. And last time it took me the entire game to even be able to penetrate their base. So um, hopefully I had learned a couple of tricks. For example, the um, computer won't attack, will not attack my A base. So it doesn't seem like I have any reason for, uh, any reason to invest in having defenders in that base so far. These will be the only reinforcements I get. And they will be trying to help out with with uh, the Gallic base right here. And I would like to help them as well. But my first priority is going to be to capture this base. And then that will give me some income as well and of course the computer will start to attack me on this uh, on this location. I did not manage to get through this one unfortunately. But I'm gonna try to keep disturbing them. For some reason they're not attacking me. I guess I'm really... Okay, I shouldn't have jinxed that. I was gonna say that I'm really grateful that they aren't attacking me, but now of course they are. Come on. There we go. Look at that. So impressive, right? And it doesn't seem like they are recruiting any end at this base. Are they gonna follow me all the way back to my uh, all the way back to my camp? It really looks like they are. Okay. But I will not have it. There we go, guys. Okay, so I. This is basically this. I think is this is the first map where I start from zero generally. So I have um, I don't have any capital to start on. So of course I have to get as much uh, money as I can from the camps. I om I'm also gonna try to take um, to see because as soon if you look at the map. As soon as I approach, if I take over E or D or B as well, they're gonna start attacking that position. And last time, yes, I had like eight defenders on D, and I was ma and I managed to ca to uh, hold quite quite nicely. But I'm gonna see if it's possible that if I don't capture E but just neutralize it, so neither they nor me get any points from it. I want to see if that makes them want to attack it as well, because if they don't, I can let that one be neutral and I can just try to hold B and D and that will give me 180 points over them. So far this is um, I'm working a lot faster than I did last time because my last game I think I had one base for like at least half the game I tried so hard to capture the E and D and as soon as I capture one of course they came over and took it and then I went yeah I basically ended up on uh, on uh, break even, and here they come. So I'm gonna hire defenders, and I'm gonna try to do my absolute best to um, to break them down a little bit. They start off with spearmen, so of course. Or no, they actually they're actually starting off with swordsmen as well. But I will not want them. Yeah, I will. I do not want them to uh, have a too big of an advantage against me, of course. But now I need to be able to get some economy going. My first uh, option. My first 
upgrade. I don't know which one it will be yet. Of course, I want my troops to heal up when they are close to a flag. This will mean uh, this will make them uh, make it easier to defend the post that I'm having. But I also want the standard because as soon as I get the standard main sign, I will be able to get an increased income. Yeah, so I'm actually wondering if I'm just gonna have to live with that I have basically no money to start off with. They, however, seem to have quite a lot, and I do not want to... Yeah, I can't even reach them right now. I would really like to be able to aim if I drop down in the water. I'm dead, so I do not want that, and I do not want a spear in my neck either, but hey, we can't always get what we want. And now I'm dead. Okay, so that's how that ended out. The defenders are so effective with throwing their spears, so effective. But at least now I have, I have two positions, that's good. I would really like for those defenders to pop up over here instead. I am not comfortable with trying to take another one of their bases because if they attack B, yeah, that's not going to be too good for me, but I'm going to go with I'm upgrading to get my standard right now. So now I have that guy as well, that's good. And I'm actually gonna try to run over and see what happens if I try to take, um, if I try to take E and if I try to just neutralize it. And also if I take E, that will mean that they won't be attacking my B site. And that's of course good, good news for us. One main problem I have with the, uh, with this map is that it's so large I mean it takes a couple of minutes almost just to run from one point to the other so then of course it's not very effective for me to keep um, to keep running between E and D and look at that now they're attacking B I really hope my guys will be able to hold it I still have four defenders, and that's a good sign, because um, as soon as the defenders are down to zero, I need to be really nervous about what's happening at the B site. But so far, my troops are, the troops are neutral, they haven't, uh, I haven't lost any troops, that's good. Okay, and now I want to see what happens if I just neutralize E. And don't try to take it. I want to see if the computer, if the AI tries to come and take it from me. I really hope they won't, of course. Because that would mean that uh, I can just hold them from taking, from getting points from E. And I will get uh, points from A, B and D. So, of course, that's what I'm hoping for. So far, it looks like uh, the scheme is working, but that's because, of course, because um, their entire army was annihilated, hopefully, at B site. And it doesn't seem like they are using any of their troops to reclaim E. And now we just got we almost have enough money now to go for the standard main sign and now they are starting to kill my defenders I'm going with the standard main sign gold per minute I want more money and I'm gonna claim this or not okay now they are starting to kill uh, now they're starting to kill my troops Hiring a couple of defenders here, and then I'm gonna run and basically suicide myself to uh, spawn from the D base. From the B base. So far, it looks like um, my troops survived the assault, and 
Um, as long as E is still neutral, I will uh, be coming out on top. I don't really know how this works with uh, where I have to suicide myself in order to spawn at the B site. I really hope that this works. And most likely they're gonna go for uh, go to attack D right now. I would have really liked to have um, to have more troops before I uh, have more defenders before I left D. But yeah, we can't get everything, I guess. And um, I just blew my horn, which means that all of my uh, all the effects for my standard are doubled for like five seconds. So I got sixty plus sixty percent gold per minute for a couple of minutes there, oh, for a couple of seconds, for like five seconds, of course. Having more soldiers, this will most likely be the last um, time. Hopefully, be the last time that I'll. Um, hopefully, be the last time that I'm recruiting militia, because I want to. Oh my God! Is there no way for me to get to the D site faster? So far, they are not trying to recapture the neutral zone E, and they are not attacking D so far. So of course I really like it that I'm in the lead point wise right now, but of course I also want to, um, I also want to take their main base. I want to take their C base, of course. So far my unit limit is reached, so I cannot buy any more units until I upgrade that, which I can do now. And I just blew my horn again, which will give me plus 60% income for um, for five seconds. So I mean, I take basically every little every little victory I get financially. I am just about 1,000 points behind purple right now, and. I am gaining my points quicker than they are, but this will not be quick enough. I will need to uh, claim their base if I want to. If I want to win this, okay. So if I look at this, I have two, four, six, seven, at least seven defenders at this base, which would mean that if hopefully it will stand pretty pretty uh, safe but now they are going for the neutral e base and i will try yeah you saw that as soon as as soon as i had my troops uh, attacking their city they ran back from e I have no idea where they actually uh, ended up, but I hope they didn't run too far. <laughs> it seems like a couple of my troops are dying though. Did they actually run for the gate? They might have. Oh, wow. They are almost inside. They are inside. Wow. But they all died now, though. <laughs> that's too bad. But at least we broke down their gate. And that's good. That's really good. And we also upgraded to Spearman. 
so hopefully they will be a bit more effective as well. Limit of units it's re is reached, um, although it takes 30 seconds before I get my... Okay, their army is there, so we still have the point advantage. And so far, uh, we're only... we're not even halfway through the game yet. So it feels like I have a much more positive... Out, uh, be, much more positive start at least than I did the last time and the way I um, got that to work out it's basically when they attacked B I attacked from D and when they attacked B I went from D or vice versa now let's see what happens if I charge my troops in This is such a stupid risk. Oh, I hope they don't close me in here, because in that case I'm toast. Okay, so far that was okay. I really need some pilas to be able to throw spears at my enemies. I mean, the cardio level on this character at the end of this uh, map will be impressive to say the least. Please don't attack my base. At least I know that there's a way for me to run around it now. And I also want an upgrade to be able to um, to be able to break down their gate faster because uh, because their army is just butchering mine when um, when I am to attack the gate. Their defenders are insanely effective at killing my troops, of course. But I want to kill their leader. Oh wow. Got my first Oh, I got my second point. I want more damage. Damage and attack speed. That's that's what I'm going for. Look at that. Managed to repel um, their attack right there. That's good. I did lose a defender though, so I'm gonna rehire that one. And of course I also I'll also want uh, Okay. They're going for E right now. That means I'm gonna attack their base because their entire army is gonna be out of town. And hopefully that little scheme will work. Well, oh, maybe it's better if I... If I let my troops try to break down the gate. Wow, you got me. Got me again. Come on. Can we please just break down the gate already? There we go. And there they are. Okay, and I'm dead. How are they able to come back so quickly? Come on. Okay, now we have the same amount of points. Which means that I will need to... Um, that I will need to run over and take E yet again. And I'll have my spearman defending that point. And so far, they haven't been attacking D, knock on wood. Hopefully they won't.
I'm not sure if this is actually the fastest way to go um, to go to E or if I should um, at least or if I should try going around the No, this has to be quicker but okay as soon as I take E hopefully their troops will be coming uh, to take that one to take that point and then I will be running I will be standing on the opposite side of the castle and pressing F which will have my troops attacking the gate and um, I really hope that plan will work because the gate is hopefully broken down right now the gate is hopefully broken down which means that they will be able to run straight in and if the pur purple's main army is right over here at E they won't be too much of trouble uh, for me when I try to take C this is such a strategic uh, map especially when I run so much I really need to be able to um, I really need to be able to delegate the issue the, uh, the problems or the not delegate the tasks delegate the tasks of course I want uh, my troops to be better defended when they're standing close to the flag. Okay. Now I've taken your... Oh, wow. This might be really good, actually. Because you remember that I have a lot of defenders right there. And they are gonna get pummeled by my defenders. While hopefully my army is um, is gunning for their base. And that's what happened. Oh wow. Okay, so my troops, uh, <laughs> my troops are dying over there, unfortunately. But at least I hope they uh, got some good, some good kills in. I want better troops. Now I'm gonna. Now I will be recruiting legionnaires, and that of course will be. Um, they will be much more effective. Because legionnaires are basically the uh, very elite troops of Rome, and I suicided myself. So hopefully, I'm gonna be. Uh, I will be respawning at the B site, and I will be recruiting a full army of Roman legionnaires, and I will head straight for the gate. So far, I don't have any more points uh, to add to my standard barrier because that poor guy has died a lot recently. Sigensag, Sigensag, Sigensag. Yeah, that did not go as well as I planned. They also have legionnaires. I used to be. I need to be better at using my horn, but at least I got them on the ropes. I have them defending their home base, which means that they will not be attacking uh, my C or B base, which is really good. As long as they are standing right here. I will be gaining more points than them. And that's good. We need to play for the long run right here. We don't want to go for the quick victory and end up losing our entire army and all of our uh, stations as well. So far we have 4 out of 5 bases. That will give us 240 points. 
they only have 120 so if you look up to the left we are catching up to them and as soon as I have 200 let's see what I want 250 for both those cooldowns Hero respawn time is of course very important for me. I don't have any gates yet, so I don't need gate repair time. I do, however, want a shorter respawn time of my standard, but I also want more missiles. I'm gonna go with my standard carrier when I have 250 gold, because that guy has really, has really put in his all for me. Oh wow, straight to the face. And now of course they close the gate. So I will have my troops breaking it down because probably that means that their troops are going to attack one of my stations. And I do really want to hit any of those defenders. How am I missing? Every shot so far. And they were still there. They were still there. Oh wow, straight to the head. That water so far doesn't seem to be killing me, fortunately. Okay, shorter respawn time for my precious standard carrier. And also a second volley of pilas. Not enough gold. I do not like seeing that I don't have enough gold. There we go. And I really need to be putting the pressure on them so they don't try to attack any of my bases. I would really like them to try to attack D. That might sound weird that I want them to attack me, but I mean D is so heavy fortified. So that shouldn't really be uh, that shouldn't really be an issue. Oh wow, got one, got a spear in the neck. As soon as I'm back, I'll be recruiting more troops. And we'll go straight at it again. This might seem like a really bad idea to just keep throwing money at them like this. Oh no, come on, come on. There we go. My standard bearer is back. And then, now he died. So what happens if I try to go here and neutralize their flag? Well, I did manage to neutralize it, <laughs> but I did die in the process. So for a couple of seconds there, they had absolutely zero income. And where am I gonna spawn right now? Oh, I got, got to spawn from here. How marvelous. Recruiting a full army and heading straight for the gate. Because currently my B site is pretty much undefended. So I want to at least try to get some pressure on them from there. I want to try. It 
so I don't think uh, their defenders can hit us from here. But I can hit them with my Pilas. Oh, and I'm dead. The the worst thing right now is my that my standard bearer has no has no opportunity to um, has no opportunity to gain any experience because he constantly dies and most of uh, most of the opportunities or not most of the opportunities most of the buffs will come from experience from leveling up your standard barrier. So I need to be uh, in a couple of fights with him, not me versus him, but uh, I will need him in a couple of, um, in a couple of the attacks, so he gains some experience, and also that defender will be uh, at the very top of my priorities. I used to lose so many... Uh, I used to waste so many pilas throwing at the left one when I actually should be striking uh, the right one because those are much less defended defended than uh, the left one. So first I get that one. So far I haven't um, seen any perk with um, marching forward in Testudo formation. What? There we go. Troops were right over there. Actually, gonna see if this might work for us. Uh, so far, it doesn't seem like it did. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> and I started up from over here. Awesome. So far, I will, I will not want to attack more from the B point, but now I'll just be running back to B, recruiting up again, and um, once more onto the bridge, basically. This is such an ineffective uh, war type for my standard carrier, though, because he dies all the time. I won't be able to upgrade him. But hopefully, this will make me respawn from B. And it did. So, I'm um, uh, recruiting fully. I will soon have full team upgrades. See if this is even possible. Nope, I did not reach. I did not reach again. I am not good at working with the pilas, but if you look up to the left, I am still in the lead, which of course is good. But I want my standard bearer to have some more experience because right now he basically has none. He is um, he's a level two standard bear. And I got you in the face. I got 
at you again. And at least we got the gate down. And unfortunately, I believe my poor standard bearer will die again. He didn't get any experience from that confrontation. Any experience at all. I thought he got a great experience. I mean, he didn't die. And he was like at the front line. I think he did great work. So I, I really think he should have gotten some experience for that. I think it was such a terrific, um, such a terrific companion. Giving myself longer horn duration. Should I? Yeah, now they're running back. So I'm gonna try for yet another attack. And I will follow my troops until I get a spear in the back. Now I just got another point, gonna add that to They are starting to recruit worse soldiers right now. So that means that hopefully they are starting to run out of money. Because you can only hire that many legionnaires until you start running out of guapa. Look at that dodging ability. Matrix got nothing on uh, Julius Caesar. Recruiting a full force again. Not enough gold. Soon they will be, soon they will be. And once more onto the breach. Without the standard barrier, barrier, not the barrier, but the barrier. Oh. We need to bring. Look at that! Oh wow, they got at me again, but this time we managed to get all the way up. And as long as they are following me, they won't be attacking any other point. But yeah, that was good. Look at all the amount of spearmen. They do have some legionnaires still though. Um, but they are mostly heavy on... Uh, they are mostly starting to rely on uh, on spearmen. Which, was which of course is a much cheaper unit. We have 5 minutes left. I would like to end the movie with uh, us being able to penetrate um, the city. I would really much like that. Come on. Man, my timing couldn't be worse right now. And how will I get the get up there? Is there a way for me to get up here? No, there isn't. There is not. And uh, that really disappoints me because, I mean, the only way for me to kill their defenders will basically be to just volley them down with pilas. And I would like them to be able to run up and uh, take them down with the swords. Running in to the depot, to the depot, getting some more troops, and now their army is waiting for me. They will basically be standing there until uh, until the gate is fully repaired. But I will not be attacking without my standard bearer, bearer, who should be coming back any second now. Or not.
Okay, I'm gonna try to see if it's possible to bring that one down with volleys. No, it wasn't. And now they're at me again. Got the leader in the face, that's good. They're still coming after me. Just two and a half minutes left of this map. And they are retreating. Recruiting another army and running back again. I don't know why they haven't attacked E yet. I hope it's because I'm such a strategic genius when it comes to uh, keeping the pressure on. I'm gonna say that it's because of my strategic genius. Two minutes left and they are still standing there. I'm just gonna try something right now. I don't have, they're not, it's not that much time left and they won't be able to uh, to win right now so I will be recruiting even more soldiers right here and there we have it there their full army is coming and their pilos are up again fortunately they haven't been able to kill that many of my troops yet as soon as they put down their shields it's our turn with the pilas. And now the entire army is down. I did not get any more experience point on my standard bearer. That's um, that's disappointing, of course. But we're gonna do one more try on the gate. Got me, that's not good. I'm really not a big fan of my sight being blocked. And I'm dead. 30 seconds. Thirty seconds is all we got, and if we brought down the gate, it will be yeah doesn't seem like we will be able to capture their um, last hold of course that's that's disappointing but at least I was able to win it and it ended with me dying but there we go 40 minutes their team upgrades of course uh, got longer than I did if you look at the net worth, they basically had me the entire game. But team points, I got a hold of them somewhere in the 25th minute. So that's really awesome for me, of course. I'm really happy to be able to uh, to win this map of the campaign. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.